it can be difficult for government departments and other public sector bodies to access the groundbreaking new technologies that could solve many of the tough challenges they face. Since April 2009, more than 70 government organisations have taken part in SBRI, awarding over £270 million worth of contracts. One of these competitions was run by the NHS to find cheaper and more effective methods of helping people with diabetes and related conditions. I've been a diabetic now for over 30 years. The diabetes has caused retinopathy, which is damage to the retina at the back of my eye. I was worried that um, I might lose my sight sufficiently that I wouldn't be able to drive. And if I can't drive, then how do I commute to my job? If you lose your job, what's the risk of losing your house? That was going around in my brain. Diabetes itself is a global disease. Uh, it's a tsunami of cost facing all the world healthcare organisations. Closer to home in the UK, it's costing the NHS about 12 billion a year to treat diabetes. And one of the largest portions of that is the treatment of diabetic retinopathy. The reason we're so excited about working with polyphotonics and the Noctura 400 uh, is that it provides the potential of greater benefits to more diabetic patients uh, for less money. It could um, deliver patient experience and health outcome improvements to thousands and thousands of NHS patients. Uh, and uh, some people have estimated that it will deliver about a billion pounds worth of cost savings to the NHS. Using this device has taken an awful lot of worry away from me. Since using this mask, I think it's had a, a huge impact on me personally because I was getting repeated bleeds since using the mask. I have not had a single further bleed and I have not required any further laser therapy. This academic health science network, and I think all of the academic health science networks are really committed to the scheme. Uh, proud of our involvement so far and expect to be fully involved for many years to come. Working with Innovate UK over the years has enabled us to come over many, many barriers. The benefits in taking part in the scheme are numerous. Polyphotonics has uh, grown considerably since taking part in the scheme. I think when we, when we originally applied, we were about, probably, I think, by recollection, about 10 employees. Uh, we're now 22 and we're taking on a new employee almost every month. I think companies like Polyphotonics will increasingly have an effect on the UK economy. The market for this device is absolutely huge. There are about 104 million people suffering with diabetic retinopathy. So it is very much a global opportunity. Applying to SBRI is simple. If you're a business, you can find the latest competitions and apply online. interact.innovateuk.org If you're a government organisation, email sbri at innovateuk.gov.uk for more information.